Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, Lil. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry. Sorry. We're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no. Lucky Land Casino. With cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you Lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, Lil. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. It's Tokyo time. And Anything But Footy brings you the views of the athletes in action just before their event. She needs little introduction from us. 14 Paralympic gold medals over two sports across seven games. Now cyclist Dame Sarah Storey is back for her eighth and going for gold in the velodrome and on the road. Now, ahead of Barcelona in 1992, I don't suspect you ever envisaged you would be sat on Zoom talking about games number eight in 2021, did you? No, I certainly didn't expect that, no. I mean, Zoom was something you did up and down the swimming pool um, to try and win the medals. Um, and nobody had their own personal computer unless you, um, you know, worked in computing. Um, and yeah, I had absolutely no idea that we'd um, in- involve a pandemic as well. So now I'm, I'm obviously hugely thrilled um, and so much has happened. Um, and I want to look back at that, you know, seven Paralympic Games that I've competed at so far. Um, I do pinch myself, um, but I know I'm at, I'm at about the amount of work that's gone into it. The serious point is, though, the hunger, the desire, that love of competing must still burn very brightly inside you. It certainly does. Um, you know, competition days are always incredibly exciting, even if they are a little bit nerve wracking as well. Um, you know, I enjoy training. I enjoy putting together that jigsaw puzzle um, of a race performance uh, and that, you know, you start with the corner pieces um, yeah, very, very early on um, in a Paralympic cycle. Uh, and then you add the rest of the picture as, as you go through. And we've had a little bit longer to add to the picture this time. And that's required some different decisions to be made. Um, but with every, you know, obstacle, there's always an opportunity. Um, and you also can draw on the experience you've had. And although I didn't race for such a long time because of the pandemic, I'd had previous hiatuses through, from being pregnant. So I did have a little bit of experience of knowing what it was like to come back to racing with such a long gap. Um, and I just tried to stay focused and continue to plan meticulously to, to make sure that, you know, nothing went wrong. Or, uh, and the World Championships in June showed that that meticulous planning was working. Um, and I've continued to try and stay on the, the straight and narrow ever since. It's always good they do a little warm up for you called the Olympics. But it's, it's whetted your appetite, the, the performance out there to go and deliver again. I think starting racing myself um, whetted my appetite to keep moving. Um, having the World Championships in June was obviously felt like it was a bit too soon in some senses, but being able to just get stuck in and not try not to worry too much about the lack of racing was really, really important. Um, and to come out on top with two dominant performances was, was really, really um, exciting, not just because of what it meant I'd achieved through lockdown, but also what I still had to do because I wasn't in the, the tip top condition I wanted to be with such, you know, a lack of racing. So that's given me a really strong platform um, and a lot of confidence to take through into what I've been doing since those world championships. So now there's, you know, five race days left. There's two more preparation races here in the UK. And then there's three race days out in Japan. And then I decide if I've got any more energy to race when I get home. <laughs> but we know that British cycling and the BPA prepare you guys as best that you possibly can be prepared so happy with all the details that have been looked after 
Yeah, certainly the team, you know, the team has a huge, a huge task and it has had a huge task. It's, it's changed daily, no doubt, with the, the interactions to prepare the team to get out there and all the different scenarios within the, you know, the various levels of playbook. Um, but yeah, I, as an athlete, all of those big things are taken care of. And that's why you, you manage your own situation and, you, you know, you look after the things that you can control and make your contribution to that bigger plan so that you're, you know, contributing to that big support that you have around you um, from a team logistics perspective. 14 Paralympic golds, Dame Sarah. Do you think about Mike Kenny 16 or is it just us? <laughs> I mean, I'm, people talk about it to me quite a lot. So it's um, something that I do um, think about in that sense. It would be an amazing thing. But the opportunity to try, I think I'm the, mathematically the only person who's close. Um, the opportunity to try and to continue to create my legacy and to keep pushing on with the performances I've been producing over the last seven games. And that's got to me to this point. I have 25 medals here at home that I'll be leaving behind and hoping to return with something to add to them. Um, and I'm focusing very much on, you know, making sure that each race day is the very, very best Sarah story that you'll find, you know, out in that Japanese environment. And you've talked about some of the challenges without Barney being there with everything else. Will it mean much more if you medal this time? I don't really know. I think for me personally, it's going to be, you know, if, for everybody as well, it's going to be a hugely um, challenging environment to to kind of, work out what you're feeling you, you you've very much got to um focus on the the daily plan the things that you've got to do to get through and just to try not to think too much I think is probably uh, really good advice as well to make sure that you don't um you know get overcome by the enormity of what's happening um it's another race day it's another opportunity to prove just how good you are as an athlete um and that's really trying to keep it that simple um so yeah hopefully we'll return home um, beginning of September I'll be able to have a little bit more clarity on what it feels like but for now we're not feeling anything we're just focusing on um, making sure that the the race days go as um, smoothly as possible. Will it be gold number 15 in the individual pursuit in the velodrome? Find out around 7am on Wednesday morning UK time. This is Tokyo time from anything but footy the Olympic and Paralympic sport podcast. Follow for more from the 2020 Games in 2021. Sports Social Podcast Network. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere. And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.